Steve, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming to be with us today to launch the U.S. Leadership and Development Project in partnership with Chevron. We're so pleased here to be with you at CSIS. Thanks for coming. I've got a couple questions for you about uh, how this came about, uh, but first I wanted to ask you, you're Vice President of Policy, uh, Government and Public Affairs at Chevron. You, d you didn't come up through the ranks as a, a policy, a g a government and public affairs professional. You're an engineer by training. Could you tell us a little bit how you ended up? As sure. Uh, well, first of all, thanks, Dan. It's a, it's a great pleasure to be here representing Chevron on the launch of this initiative. Uh, you're right. My uh, pedigree is not in the policy space. Uh, my uh, experience is largely on the managing the line operations uh, in many places across our, our uh, upstream business. I uh, lived uh, for a number of years in Southeast Asia. So my experience with development came from uh, necessity and tactical on the ground issues that we deal with in the communities that surround and are integral parts of our operations in the places I've lived and worked. So my experience in this uh, space is more practical uh, than theoretical. But well, I think that's particularly relevant to the conversation that we're going to be having today as part of the launch of the new U.S. Leadership and Development Project. Um, in particular, I think there's been an evolution in thinking on great companies like Chevron because of business leaders like yourself who are out there in the field having to operate in very challenging contexts and having to think their way through some really difficult places that uh, require de development as part of the way that you engage. Could you just talk a little bit about how, just in your experience, how you saw development, how, you, how, how Chevron worked in South Asia? I, I'd issues? be happy to, uh, and you're exactly right. Uh, we live and work in a variety of places around the world, uh, and many of them have uh, large challenges in, in the most basic of, of human services, education, uh, access to health care, uh, ongoing economic development and uh, the ability to sustain their livelihoods. So we've over time learned to uh, partner with and engage with the communities in dialogues uh, to, to begin to address those. There's a very definite link between stable and secure communities and good business results and we've seen that time and again throughout our operations. Um, over time we have also learned that the most effective way of uh, engaging in development is through smart partnerships. Uh, there are things that Chevron is very, very good at. We're a terrific project design and execution company, but there are many areas of development where uh, our partners bring skills that are, are their core competencies, and together those partnerships make much more effective use of development dollars or efforts in addressing these complex problems and issues. I think that leads to the question of how Chevron decided to support the U.S. Leadership and Development Project. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, one of the core uh, uh, goals of this project is to create an opportunity for the world's leading experts and thinkers and ideas on development uh, to really examine how governments, NGOs, private sector, uh, go about development on a local or a global scale and how through the value of partnership we can leverage that beyond just the individual contributions or efforts that any one of those entities might make. So we're very excited to help launch this initiative today. Uh, it, it is very, very aligned with Chevron's approach to development. Uh, we hope it's not an exclusive partnership. We very much uh, want uh, to recruit and uh, engage our uh, colleagues in multinational corporations, NGOs, host governments, donor governments, uh, think tanks, uh, academia, with the goal of, of in three years time producing actionable recommendations to policymakers uh, that will move development forward that will give us a better chance of it addressing some of the growing needs that exist uh, all over the world. Steve, this is tremendously exciting. We're so pleased to be launching this with you. Thanks so much for being with us today. Well, thanks, Dan. It's a tremendous honor to represent Chevron's 62,000 employees worldwide. Uh, we are very, very excited about the potential that this initiative offers. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah.